It's the boys from Liquor Store 352. We're here with another Liquor Store 352 review. And today we have something a little different, but something we've done before, but this is the Juicy Imperial IPA Showdown. We're coming at you with three different IPAs that all clock in at over 9%, closer to 10%, mm -hmm. that all sport a very juicy, tropical, hoppy, but not too bitter profile, flavor profile. And just as a quick history, Voodoo Ranger Juice Force IPA started this whole thing. Maybe the biggest craft beer release ever. Um, it just, it's amazing how many people are aware of this beer that have never consumed an IPA before. It's in gas stations, it's in convenience stores. Everyone's drinking it. Everyone's getting hammered on 9.5% IPAs. Especially given the fact that these are tall boys. Must be the end times. These aren't just any tall boys. These, these aren't, these aren't your, like, size comparison? 12 Jesus. ounce. Jesus. 12 ounce. Slightly taller than the usual 12 ounce. <laughs> Um, mm -mm. These aren't 16 ounces, these are 19.2. Did you not silence your cell phone? So, we're going to crack these open, we're going to give you an honest review and let you know which one is our favorite, which one's our least favorite, and which one comes in second, if that wasn't obvious enough. There it is. But before we do that, make sure to like and subscribe, ring the bell, find us on other social media platforms, and let us know in the comments what you'd like us to review next. I feel like we have to, you know, respect, you know, what do you want to start with? I feel like we have to start with the Voodoo Ranger Juice Force. I feel like it's, you know, they're the winners in this industry right now. Or at least when it comes to the Juicy Imperial IPAs. That's the standard bear. Amen. Everyone else is kind of a copycat. So I feel like we have to start with that, quite okay. honestly. Let's do it. I'm going to let you crack her open. <sighs> so clean. Mm. But just one. Let's get, the, let's get a proper pour. Now, granted, we're not going to split an entire tall boy together. Oh, I'm actually kind of nervous at how much you're going to fill that glass up because you can stop, right? If you want me to. It's strong. we got to drink three of them. Okay, cool. But don't criticize Dylan's pour either. There's nothing wrong with a lot of head. Yeah, baby. So, right away, aroma's screaming out of the glass. I'm, oh, I'm getting papaya. <sighs> I'm getting some stone fruit, like peach. I'm also getting that, like, classic... Fruit, yeah, yeah, I'm getting some tangerine. I mean, this is... Mm. This right here smells like the smells. orange juice of IPAs. Does this have juice added to it? If, they, if they're getting that from hops only, God bless them, because that's pretty amazing. But here's... I mean, do you know those fruit cups? Those little mandarin orange fruit cups? Mm -mm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It smells exactly like that shit. Mm. Goes on. So, you okay? Don't start seeing me. I'm all right. I'm also kind of shocked at the color. I would expect a beer of this alcohol level to be more copper, golden, yeah. and getting more sugar from malt. But this is very pale. Looks like they're using a lot of Pilsner malt, a lot of like just regular pale two row. But oh, geez. <laughs> so easy to put down. And honestly, for what, nine, nine and a half percent, you wouldn't tell. My God, is this thing dangerous. This beer is surprisingly light bodied. That's the first thing that really impresses me is that when you drink this, it doesn't kind of coat your tongue. It's not syrupy. Mm -mm. The other thing is that it's not overly sweet. Although it's tropical, although it's very juicy and there's almost no bitterness, it's not aggressively or cloyingly sweet. Which I appreciate. Nine and a half percent. That's scary, man. Yeah. Jeez. Especially for being a tall boy. This thing's dangerous. Like, take one of these out on the town before you really start partying. I don't really know how much more you're gonna need. I like to give beers the chug test. See if you can, like, take a big gulp. You can take a big gulp of that. I mean, <clears throat> sure, Ooh, there's yeah. some alcohol there, but, like, wow. I kind of feel bad for thinking bad on this beer before drinking it because... New Belgium's a great brewery. Oh, yeah. So what if they sold out? Get your bag, bro. So what? They've made great beer for a long time. And this is another example of a great beer by New Belgium. So, to the boys in New Belgium, really good job. Good job. Thumbs up. So far, one out of one. First place. We can put this guy right down here. I'm going to step down a tier. I think up next, Tropical Beer Hug. Yes. Gummies is the newest from Sweetwater. This mm. is... You know, honestly, it's possible that this is as old or older than the Juice Force. Oh, wow. Coming uh, in at 9.9%. 9 Holy shit. 
This is a beer produced by Anheuser Busch. It's a Budweiser beer. Um, Budweiser. Goose Island in Chicago, Illinois, was one of the first major craft beer acquisitions by a major domestic brewery, Budweiser, AB InBev. And sad day for a lot of craft beer fans. But on the other hand, Goose Island's available everywhere, all over the country now, and you can buy their 10% IPAs in gas stations all over the place. It's kind of crazy. Or, you know, if you happen to know where we are, you come into the store, you can buy one at the store. Say hi. Okay. Let's all get right. her cracked open. Yep. Ooh. And I don't think we're going to have to worry about rinsing out our glass. These are all in the same vein. Some people are going to freak out that I didn't wash the glass, but like, we're covering it up with a 10% beer yeah. in the same style. It's fine. Get over it. All right. Let's check. Let's get that color. Ooh, okay. Also pale. It's pale. It's, yeah, I think, I think the juice force was a little lighter. Tropical beer hug. A mm. vacation for your taste buds. Bibbs. Let's put our nose on it. Way different. Whoa. Okay. The hops are coming in str very strong. Dude, this smells like a beer. Yeah. It smells like malt, and it smells like hops. It doesn't smell just like tropical fruit um, and papaya and citrus. This is just like pure tropical fruit. There's okay. no, no, this, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no clue that there's a beer in there. Mm -hmm. This is clearly beer. That hides the alcohol pretty well, man. But it doesn't taste really like fruit juice. It tastes yeah. like malt and hops. Mm -hmm. Like that's if you were into IPAs and you just ordered that at a beer, I honestly think it's a little mislabeled. Like tropical beer hug leads me to think that this is gonna be way more in your face with the fruitiness. Yeah. I kinda wish that it was that way, especially if we're talking about competing against something like the juice force from Voodoo Ranger. Um to me, I get a Pretty violent ethanol singe to it. Yeah. If you're not a beer fan, this is not for you. No. If you don't like the taste of beer traditionally, if you were someone that's like, I don't like the taste of beer, there's no beer I like, I would suggest that you try this one. Because, holy shit, it doesn't taste anything like beer. Which, it could be good or bad, who knows. Ah. But this tastes like beer, it's malty, it balances a little sweet, it's not supported by the bitterness of the hops mm -hmm. and it's not overtly tropical for me it's just kind of like generic fruity not my favorite also not mine either so, right now juice force is taking the lead beer hugs in second place juice force numero uno and now the newest kid on the block gummies tropical devil ipa time to move on to the final nine plus percent this is nine and a half just like the juice force i don't know why i'm already fucking feeling it holy crap i'm feeling it Feeling it real good. Yeah. Time yeah. for the gummies, baby. Mm. Okay. Right away I'm noticing it's a little darker in color. Just just a touch. Yeah, it was, there's a little bit of a goldish hue to it. Don't overflow, don't overflow, don't overflow. Damn, you sorry here. You pour it well for yourself. There you go. I'm scared now. Okay. Yeah, Slow, a little darker, yes, a little like, more gold. A little more haze, maybe? Honestly, yes. Dude, is it the power of suggestion, or does that smell like actually smell like gummy candy? It smells like pineapple-flavored gummies. They're even, like, nailing like that sweet candy smell. It's not just the fruit, like... I'm starting to go a little nose blind, but it's, if I wasn't nose blind, yeah, it's, it's already strong as is. Man, I enjoy the smell oh, of this. Oh, crap. It's a little more delicate than this. The mm -hmm. juice force is, yeah, oh, I am juicy. <laughs> this is more like, hey, hey, you want a gummy? I am juicy. Hey, you want a gummy? You want a gummy, baby? It's like the towel leaf from South Park. Hey. Hey. Want a gummy? I want a gummy. <laughs> Do you want a gummy? Let's, let's put it in our mouths now. Bro, oh, cheers. That's oh, perfectly timed. Mm-hmm. 
still very light bodied. But there's definitely a button there. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so sweet. It's real sweet. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. It's just, it's clawing. Right uh, now, my mouth feels like it's coated with sugar. Like I just ate a handful of Starburst or like, um, what do you call those? Gummies. What do you call those? The circular ones? Lifesavers? Lifesavers. Yeah, I just feel like I ate a big old handful of Lifesavers. I, I see where you're coming from. I really do. Uh, but I think I can honestly say I enjoy the gummies a lot more than the tropical beer hug. No, 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 no. But I have said in the past, I'm an honest bitch. I like my sweet drinks. Mm. I like my sugar. Sue me. Number two. Number three. Number two. Number three. No, the yeah. sweet water. I like, I like sweet water a lot. Sweet water mm. IPA is delicious. One of my favorite go-to IPAs. Sweet water 420 extra pale mm -hmm. ale. Oh yeah. Fucking delicious. Man. What a one Get on right it. there. This shit's gross. To me, I, I I enjoy it more than the tropical beer hug, but that's just me. I love the flavor of beer, and this one says I'm beer. This one says I'm sweet. I like sweet things. I don't know. The definitive thing is, this is the winner. Ooh, man, is it the winner. By, and, I mean, leaps and bounds. Yeah. And I feel good about that. I'm okay with it. Because I like New Belgium. I've been there. It's a cool place. You have? Yeah. You didn't invite me? Sorry. But the people that work there are all amazing people. I've never met someone who works for New Belgium that wasn't like one of the nicest people. Um, they're a cool company that unfortunately sold out to a large foreign international Damn. brewing conglomerate. Nonetheless, still making good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us in this three-way showdown for all the Juicy Imperial IPAs. I don't know about you, I had a lot of fun in this. Keywords, thanks for joining us in this three-way. And as always, keep, keep it wet. wet.